Hello, and welcome to what is going to be the absolute shortest screencast you're going to watch in this unit. Okay, and I dare say we're going to hit under a minute. Ready? Go. What factors can influence how fast something dissolves in a liquid? Okay, not how well it dissolves, but how fast something dissolves. There are three things that we can change. We can change the type of solute, as in what we're dissolving. We can change the type of solvent, as in what we're dissolving it in. And we can change the temperature of the solution. We change any one of those three, and we change the solubility of a solution. Okay. Now, dissolving a solute in a solvent usually means dissolving something in water. But I want to make a note of this, that on some occasions the solvent or the solute or both can be a gas or a liquid. And we take this for example, we say air, we have a gas inside of a gas. Carbonated water, we put, a, we put liquid and gas together. Okay, antifreeze, we put two liquids together. So we can dissolve a gas in a gas or a liquid in a gas or a liquid in a liquid. Okay, just thought I'd mention that. And on a side note, temperature is the most common factor affecting solubility. As you increase temperature or decrease temperature, the solubility of a solid or a liquid solute will increase. This means that adding sugar to hot coffee will allow more sugar to dissolve than adding sugar to room temperature coffee. Done. Did you time it? Did we make it under a minute? Anyways, that's it. Three factors that affect solubility. Type of solute, type of solvent, the temperature.